it's Jeff Britton backstage at the pageant, and uh, Nick and Peanut from 311 uh, gracing us with their presence yet again. Thank you guys for taking the time. Appreciate it. St. Louis absolutely freaking loves you guys. Yeah, how fast did this sell out? It it's really super fast. fast. Yeah. Super, super fast. And, uh, we, we heard about that. Yeah, so thank you for coming in, man. Uh, what is, I was I was looking up, especially you, Nick, uh, before you guys came up here, 49 turning 50 in 2020. You guys have been doing this forever, and I'm the same way. I'm, I'm 52. Uh, just a quick story that nobody cares about. First time I ever saw you guys was like 91 in Springfield, Missouri. Black top of a parking lot of a place called the Regency Showcase under a tent. That. No, do you remember that? Yeah, well, what was that band we always used to play with there? It wasn't Big Drill Car, but something. Uh, S something Royale. Slugworth, maybe? Well, Slugworth was like a Springfield band, yeah. Oh, that's crazy, you guys yeah. remember that stuff. Legend, and, and, legendary. And so I started legendary, down. Legendary. Dusty memories. I started in, in radio in Springfield down there in 87, something like that. So I'm one of the relics, and I'm the guy that loves radio, and I'm the guy that has struggled through everything, and now I'm doing okay. You guys went from doing parking lots to arenas to amphitheaters like the, you know, Hollywood Casino Amphitheater to selling out places like this real quickly. Do you guys remember the struggle, and is it cool to know where you are right now because of that struggle? Yeah, I mean, we put in the the legwork, you know, we always wanted to be more of a, a grassroots thing that wasn't a media creation, but just having a direct relationship with our fans, building it up through touring. And, you know, we weren't embraced by the industry at, at first, which I guess in, was a blessing in hindsight, because now we have a really good foundation from, from touring, and so we don't have a lot of ups and downs. Um, so. But yeah, those were those were great times. You know, we as we're going into our thirtieth year here. Crazy. You know, we've got a on June tenth will be the thirty year anniversary of our very first show, which was in Omaha, opening for Fugazi. So we're wow planning a bunch of special things to uh, commemorate thirty it, years. Together. Anything that you can tell us about now, or do you want to keep it under wraps until a later date? Well, the only thing that has been announced is that the three eleven day is now expanding to three days. Uh, in Vegas, so come join us. Yeah, the, and there's a lot of information about 311 Day every year on, on Twitter and social media and stuff, and especially you, Peanut, a great a great follow on Twitter, at least. I love the stuff that you retweet because I find things that are in your brain that I would never know without social media. It's weird, right? Like, we're, uh, if, if it's one big mind, it, it's, you know, it's, it's fun having conversations with everybody, and then we all spit it out, and we all kind of relate in, in one way or the other, you know, if it's, if it's direct or not. But, yeah, it's, it's so much fun. I love the, did you see the Cybertruck? Animation yes, that I yes. Oh my gosh, I was going to bring that up. Yeah. So I love it so it's much. Like, that's perfect. Yeah, that's how I want to go to sc go to school. And, and drop, you know, drop the kids <laughs> yeah. off. And, and speaking of the, the the evolution from you know ninety one or eighty seven to now, social media makes it so much easier to be with your guy, with your guys' fans, and you guys take advantage of that. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, you know, we just keep creating content, and also we've sort of uh, our guitar tech that handles me and. And Peanuts Instruments, he's become, he runs the 311 Tour uh, Instagram, which does a lot of the backstage stuff. So for the hardcore fans that want every little nugget, that's another good follow there. But yeah, it's just, uh, it democratizes the culture where before you had to wait for a record deal and stuff like that, but now people can just do it from the ground up. But have you noticed that since it was, now that it's not, let's put out a record and try to get a record deal, and then once that record deal is there, everybody thinks you made it once you had a record deal, right? Everybody thinks you made it. Is it, is it more fun now that you guys have to do a lot of the legwork yourself? I mean, that's what Capricorn, our first label, told us would be the plan anyway, is just go out and put on a great show. And it was pretty much just keep doing what you're doing, because we, we love being on stage, we love getting the reaction from the audience, we love egging each other on to higher heights, so that's always been the, the main focus, that'll always be our, our, our best... Uh, our best attribute, I think. When I think of you guys over the years, I always think of festivals. I just, for whatever reason, they, that's the vibe that you guys give off. And I, I'm sorry if I use the word vibe, uh, but that's just the, the friendly, the let's just sit back and chill vibe that you guys give off. Uh, and one of the St. Louis guys, and I know you guys knew I'd bring up the urge, uh, is uh, Steve Ewing, I know, has talked about maybe being here tonight. And by the time people see this, it'll be over. So no secrets, but he was here. Well, he was here. He was here, and it was amazing. You should have seen that one thing he did. Holy yep, cow! Yep. You guys still keep in touch all the time over the years, and, and when you guys are in town, you hang or no? Yeah, when we see each other, of course, it's like old times. It's you know, it's that that high school buddy that you that you see that that no time has passed as soon as you see each other. And yeah. he came on our cruise. 
last year and crushed it. So that was did, awesome. Yeah, speaking of crushing, did you see the, the the bodybuilding competition stuff that Steve's doing now? Oh, like, no way! Like going up on posing, going up and posing on stage with a little tiny thing on that's so tight you can tell what religion he is. You know, that's what I mean? he was on. It's 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 incredible. Heard about that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you if you it's see Robin, him tonight, it's a Robin Williams line. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I think so. I did. I loved Robin yeah, Williams. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, no, Robin. No, it's good. It's a good, that's a good thing. He would appreciate okay, it. Okay, I'm a cover comedian. I'm not really all that funny. So, all right. So uh, come up in 2020. Before we let you go, what what all can we expect in 2020? Lots of shows. Hell of a lot more shows than yeah. normal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Busy year. year. Busy very, year. Very busy year. Cool. Uh, all size venues. Um, uh, exciting pair up. Yeah, yep. he's trying to tell us something, but he just won't. So, and I'm working on uh, off my own. See, there's a picture of the uh, my signature Gibson that's going to be coming out. So, that's not that's not actual life size though. It'll actually be. It'll, it, yeah, it's it not be. a little bitty. But like, <laughs> it's a, it's there, an app. There could be a market for that. You never know. Uh, Peanut Nick Hexum from 311. Follow them on social media, and I hope you're in the crowd because it's going to be an amazing show. It's Jeff live uh, backstage at the pageant with 311.